Hello, CLUDE members. This is Francis Pauls from the Mental Health Committee. And today, my topic is going to be about the importance of voting. Let's take a look at history of voting in America. In 1776, voting was controlled by individual states and only white men at the age of 21 and older who owned land could vote. In 1868, the 14th Amendment to US Constitution granted full citizenship rights to all men born in the United States. In 1870, the 15th Amendment to the US Constitution eliminated racial barriers to voting. However, however many states continue to practice voter discrimination, such as poll taxes, literacy tests, fraud, and, and intimidation to prevent many from voting. Native Americans were still denied the right to vote. In 1920, the 19th Amendment to the US Constitution gave women the right to vote nationwide. In 1924, Native Americans were finally granted U.S. citizenship and voting rights. In 1964, the Federal Civil Rights Act was passed to ensure all men and women aged 21 and older, regardless of race, religion, or education, could have the right to vote. In 1971, the 26th Amendment lowered the voting age to 18. And in 1975, the Federal Voting Rights Act was renewed, permanently banning literacy tests nationwide. And Section 203 was added and required polling stations to have required translated voting materials in large areas with, with large numbers of citizens with limited English skills. And why should we vote? Many activists fought and risked their lives for the right to vote. People like Frederick Douglass, Lucy Stone, Susan B. Anthony, Alice Paul, Martin Luther King Jr., and Ted Kennedy all fought for the right to vote and risked their lives. And we should vote to honor their legacy and take advantage of our opportunity to vote. Also, elections have consequences. You have the power to decide on the quality of life you want for yourself and future generations. Voting is your chance to stand up for the issues you care about, like public transportation, raising minimum wage, or funding local schools. This is your life. Take the time to help decide what's best. Also, not voting is giving up your voice. Elections are decided by the people who go out and vote. Take some time and learn about the measures and the candidates. If you don't vote, someone else will make the decision for you. Your power is in your vote. Also, voting is an opportunity for change. Do you want to make a positive impact? Voting gives you that chance. Support the candidates and ballot measures that can help your community, state, or even the nation for the greater good. Make your voice heard in these elections. Also, the community depends on you. Our communities are made up of friends, loved ones, neighbors, and children. Some may not know how important voting is, while others don't have the privilege. Make the decision to vote for yourself and those around you. And thank you for watching. I also included a link that you can sign up to register to vote in the state. Thank you.